Hello everyone, this is our next video lecture regarding chapter number 5 that is your surface chemistry. In this lecture, we will discuss what is surface chemistry, what is adsorption, what is absorption, desorption, sorption and type of adsorption. These are the some basic terms which are required to understand the topic surface chemistry. Then we will discuss the factors affecting adsorption. Then we will discuss adsorption isotherms and then applications of adsorptions. So for the first surface chemistry, it is a branch of chemistry which concerned with the processes occurring at the interfaces between the phases, especially between liquid and gas. So in surface chemistry, we discuss about the interfaces between the phases, two phases one of solvent one can be of solute or we can say adsorbent adsorbate so so it is a branch of chemistry we can say that it deals with the properties of surfaces or we can say phases which are the boundaries of anything where a chemical reaction or a physical reaction occurs this is what absorption and adsorption means absorption you all know in absorption the particles get into a bulk but in absorption this is different for adsorption in adsorption which is ad add on here the particles of solute add on the surface they will not get it into the surface but they add on the surface so this is a common difference or a one main difference between adsorption and absorption in absorption particles get into the surface but in adsorption particles add on the surface this is what we can see here that in absorption particles move from there to there by crossing this boundary but in adsorption particles cannot cross this boundary they just stay on the surface of the boundary which is this one okay now we will study in detail about absorption simply absorption is the addition of particles inside the body so in chemistry absorption is a physical or a chemical phenomena or a process in which atoms molecules or ions enter into some bulk phase and this process is known as a absorption in which a substance captures the other material and that material cross the boundary and get into the material now next if we can say in other words absorption is a process in which substance is assimilated in another substance so this is assimilation here substance assimilate into the surface and get into the surface so absorption is a process in which a substance is assimilated in another substance the substance that get absorbed is known as a absorbate and bulk phase in which absorption take place is known as a adsorbent so this is our adsorbent and this is our adsorbate so for simple example is here paper towel is the adsorbent and water is the adsorbate if you dip a towel or a paper in a water then water will act as a adsorbate and a paper or a towel will act as a adsorbent now we will discuss adsorption the phenomena of attracting and retaining the molecules of a substance on the surface of a liquid or solid so the higher concentration of solute or molecules are on the surface it is called adsorption causes the unbalanced forces of attraction or free valences which is present at the solid or liquid surface help to molecules to adsorb on the surface for example ammonia gas placed in contact with charcoal then that gas will adsorb on the surface of a charcoal this is the scenario of adsorption this is your adsorbent this is adsorbate and this is your solution so adsorption is a process that occurs when a gases or liquid solute accumulates on the surface of a solid or liquid so from here the particles get on the surface of adsorbent this is another example that activated charcoal where gas get adsorbed so we can think of ammonia gas get adsorbed on the charcoal so 
it get attached the molecule of the gas get attached on the surface of a charcoal this is your adsorption one main example you can see nowadays a chilled water in a glass at a room temperature if you left it for a 2 or 3 minutes then you will see a water vapor surrounding the glass so they are on the surface of the glass this is a best example of adsorption so what is the mechanism of adsorption this is your adsorbent for example charcoal this charcoal then we add adsorbate okay this adsorbate so this adsorbate get on the surface of the adsorbent or a charcoal so this is what it will form after adsorption now difference between adsorption and absorption one is main topic or thing you have to know what is the difference so here we can see in absorption particles get into the surface but in adsorption particles stay on the surface now this is one more example we can demonstrate it this is adsorption add on the particle will on the surface but in absorption the particles remain on the surface as well as move inside the surface this is the difference between adsorption and absorption in adsorption higher concentration of particles or liquid on the surface but in absorption particles get into the surface then this is a rapid that occurs at a uniform rate these are some basic terms which we use in adsorption one is your adsorbate the substance which get adsorbed on any surface is called adsorbate if a gas gets adsorbed on the surface of a solid then gas is termed as adsorbate the substance on which surface of a liquid which adsorption take place is adsorbent now absorption absorption you all know when the molecule of substance are uniformly distributed throughout the body or a solid it will known as a absorption in desorption the removal of the adsorbed substance from the surface is called desorption the sorption is the mixture or compile of adsorption and absorption in which both occur simultaneously is known as a sorption this is firstly it get adsorbed on the surface then after some time when it get away from the surface then desorption take place this is your adsorbent adsorbate at desorption when they remove from the surface this is your adsorption when they get attached on the surface this is your sorption particles get into the surface is absorption particles on the surface is adsorption so compile of sorp uh, adsorption and sorption is your sorption compile of adsorption and absorption is your sorption even one of the best example you can take of adsorption and absorption if you have a sponge okay then you put that sponge in a water then you will see then water will absorb in that sponge but if you place that wet sponge on a sand then sand will remain on its surface and not get inside it so a wet sponge on a sand is a best example for adsorption and a sponge in water is a best example of absorption hope you guys understand now we will see what is the type of adsorption basically adsorption are of two types one is physical adsorption second one is your chemical adsorption this is your physical adsorption where the adsorption take place on the surface but here the van der waal forces take place which are the weaker one but in chemical adsorption in chemical adsorption we will see strong forces or a chemical bond formation take place we will discuss one by one in detail first is your physical adsorption or physiopsion in physical adsorption we will see that the van der waal forces take place between the adsorbate and adsorbent the main characteristics of these physical adsorption are the nature of forces we know van der waal forces it is not specific any of the adsorbent get adsorbed on the adsorbate surface it this process is reversible because the forces are weaker they will form a multi layer process many layers will form on the surface during your physical adsorption so low forces weaker forces so low enthalpy of adsorption will be there energy of activation is very slow 
then desorption is very easy we can easily remove the particles which are adsorbed on the adsorbent and the factors which affect is surface area adsorbent pressure temperature these are the factors which affect our physical adsorption now moving to our chemical adsorption we know chemical adsorption is strong force because here chemical bond take place chemical bond formation will take place between the adsorbent and adsorbent so nature of forces are stronger specific they are highly specific certain type of compound can make a bond on the certain type of the adsorbent on adsorbent so they are highly specific it is reversible once the bond is formed it will not easy to break that bond again then the layer formation is a single layered adsorption of enthalpine top adsorption is very high because of the formation of chemical bond take place then desorption is very difficult and the factors which affect is the surface area and nature of adsorbent and its temperature this is a difference between physorption or chemisorption which is physical adsorption or a chemical adsorption this is another name of a physical adsorption or a chemical adsorption that is physorption or chemisorption so here low heat here high heat the force of attraction is weak force of attraction is strong it is reversible it is irreversible this is the temperature dependent graph here is your adsorption adsorption this is pressure pressure is kept constant then we will see in physical adsorption first when the adsorption starts the adsorption is maximum but as the time increases okay as the time increases or temperature increases we will see that adsorption decreases but here firstly it will in increase slowly then after reaching certain level it gets decreases because after this i think there will be no surface which is left over for adsorbent to adsorb on the adsorbate therefore it starts decreasing now the factors which affect the extent of adsorption first is the nature of adsorbent it depends upon the adsorbent and adsorbent then how which type of adsorption will take place for example liquefying of gases carbon dioxide ammonia chlorine and so to etc are adsorbed to a greater extent than any metal gases so these are a chemisorption specific in nature even the type of the adsorbent is if the pores are present like in the finely powder solid will increase the surface area then the adsorption will take place to the higher level now the extent of area or surface area of solid the extent of adsorption depends upon the surface area larger is the surface area greater will be the extent of adsorption so we can say surface area of a powdered solid adsorbent is higher than the unpowdered type of a solid this is your adsorption isotherm it will go on increase with time after some time at this pressure the saturation pressure adsorption is maximum further it gets constant now effect of temperature what is the effect of temperature adsorption is accompanied by lee tetlier's principle according to which the magnitude of adsorption decreases with rise in temperature a physical adsorption isobar isobar means at the same pressure shows a decrease as temperature rises so this is as temperature rises this adsorption decreases as temperature rises in chemical adsorption firstly it rapidly increase then it starts decreasing this is the effect of temperature for a same gas at different temperatures when the temperature is higher that is 273 adsorption is least when temperature is decreased to 244 kelvin adsorption increases and when this temperature decreases to 195 kelvin the adsorption is maximum so by this we can say that at low temperature adsorption is maximum now these are the surface chemistry adsorption isotherms iso means same therm in temperature at same temperature different adsorption isotherms are first is your friendly adsorption isotherm according to which adsorption where, where the adsorbate form a mono molecular layer on the surface of adsorbent follows this formula and this and by using these they get a graph which is at low temperature this adsorption is directly proportional to pressure okay at high pressure this is directly proportional to p not at moderate pressure it will proportional to p raised to power 1 by n so this is the graph of friendly isotherm it will increases with 
time this is for slope point okay this is your langmuir's option isotherm the layer of gas adsorbed on the solid adsorbent in one molecule stick okay one molecule thick or one molecule stick on the surface the adsorbed layer is uniform all over the which is similar with your chemi adsorption and there will be no interaction between the adjacent adsorbed molecules now moving to our applications of adsorption so this is used to clarify the sugar the sugar which is prepared from the sugar cane is of dark brown color it get purified by using the animal charcoal and the animal charcoal is nothing but the powder of animal bone which is used to purify or clear the color brown color of the sugar and it makes the crystal clear color of a sugar now the this process adsorption is used in gas marks to remove the poisonous gases which is used by the servants or a people who work in the mining then in catalysis adsorption plays a role then adsorption is a type of indicator even it is used in chromatography then the softening of hard water is the example of adsorption then in paint industry the adsorption works this is a game this is something we have seen this is your ambient air which came in and this is our mask which absorb the other dust particle here is the charcoal it remove extra particles and filter the filtered air to us so these are the filters which are used to remove the impure gases okay so now thank you hope you guys like this video